Hold on, let me put my little reminder to look at the camera up real quick. Zero to a hundred real quick. Because I'd be forgetting to look. Anywho, hey guys, welcome back. My name is Anne, if you don't know who I am. And today we're going to be doing a January favorite and a little update. So I'm going to start with my favorites first. So I've been involved in a makeup challenge and I'll get a little bit into that later. So I've been trying a lot of new products, but at the same time, some things I only get to try once because I try to change up the products, like lip colors and stuff. I have to keep keep moving. I like the Gem and the Holograms palette in that it has a lot of colors to work with. This was exclusive to Sephora and I do have one look where it was pink, white, and purple and I used this palette. It is on my lids today. I used this kind of uh, shimmery, frosty brown color and this color, this color, <laughs> pretty much the whole palette, and this frosty lavender shade. And I use this cream bone colored shade, I guess. And I like this palette because I don't have any palettes with a lot of vibrant colors that I can work with that isn't from China. This is from the US. It's a little bit harder to work with than some other things that I have, but it still works just as well. Lots of lid colors, lots of pops of color that I can work with, but also has some neutrals up here that you can also use. And this silver is pretty good too. This black is pretty decent as well. All in all, I like this. When you first look at this, it's a little bit overwhelming because there's so much stuff going on. And plus with the hologram, it's kind of hard to look at all the colors. Once you really take a look at these colors individually, you'll really start to like the palette. It is very 80s, hence Gem in the Holograms, very new wave makeup which is great if you like that kind of thing. I like this palette and it will be around for when I do bolder looks. Look how glittery. Look how glittery. My next favorite is the NYX Wonder Stick. And this one is in light slash medium, light to medium. I bought this a while back and I had it in my little review drawer and I didn't think I was gonna like it to be honest with you. I bought it because it was like there at, at Bed Bath & Beyond and I am pleasantly surprised. The lighter color, it kind of tapers on this end and the contour color is more rounded. The contour color is the perfect contour color for me in my shade. It's not warm at all. It's a very cool tone, but it's very like, it's the perfect undertone that I need for my skin. I've been struggling with contour colors that are too warm. So this is perfect for me. And it's so easy to work with. And it's so easy to blend out on your face. I just use a Real Techniques complexion sponge in order to blend it out. Works so easily and it doesn't take away product off of my skin. It can really be pushed into my skin and not be swiped away. So I really like this and really recommend it. I recommend this for people that want to get into contouring and want it to be very easy. This is the perfect consistency for me. Since this is in stick form, it's perfect. Love it. And on top of that, I have little pictures of Vegas Nay on my products. Next favorite I have is the Kat Von D Everlasting Liquid Lipstick in Lolita. This is a reformulated one. I like the formulation of it. It does last for a long time. I do actually like the original formula color of Lolita 1. This one, when it comes out, it's mauve. But it doesn't dry down to that really awesome dusty mauve that Lolita is known for. When you first put on your lips, it, it takes a long time to kind of dry down to a matte shade. It dried down on my lip, on my hand whenever I did a swatch. It takes a while to oxidize to get to that really dusty mauve color. But I do like this. I will be using it. I've only wore it once this month because, like I said, I have been switching up my lip color every single time I've been putting on makeup so I only had an opportunity to wear this once but I really did enjoy it when it was on my lips. So just keeping in tune with lip products I also tried the Melted Fig 
Melted Liquefied Longwear Lipstick. I'm reading it upside down by Too Faced. This one, I love it as well. It's another mauve color. Surprise. And I got this with the Too Faced Most Loved. And this one, it smells like... Hold on. It smells kind of like Sweet Tarts, I believe. It's a more vibrant mauve than the uh, Lolita. And I really like this on the lips. I was very pleasantly surprised with the performance of this lipstick. It's not going to dry down completely. It's almost more of a cream lipstick. So it's literally a melted lipstick. But it also does last long and it does feel so great on the lips. It's not drying. It's very smooth and buttery. Believe it or not, this applicator, I thought it was going to be, I know it was like really gross. I'm sorry. You would think that it's going to be all gross and it's not going to apply very well, but oh my gosh, when you put it on your lips, it just like, it just smooths out everything. It just goes on the lips like butter, like butter. I really recommend this. Um, would I pay $20 for a full size? Maybe. I would really have to think about it and I would really have to be bringing in some dough. But I do like the formulation of these if you're into that kind of thing. If you want it to dry down really matte, it's not going to be for you. But it is a very great product. So look into it. Swatch it on the back of your hand. See if you like it. Smell it. Love it. Do whatever you want. Last lip product that I have is the... NYX Chunky Dunk Hydrating Lippy and this is in Berry Mojito. This is the only one that I've tried ever since my drugstore haul because I kind of shunned them because I was disappointed with how they performed and let me swatch. It doesn't look like what's in the tube whatsoever but here's the thing. Sometimes you have to kind of just look at the product, see what you're working with and see how they named it. This does promise what it does. It does hydrate your lips and it gives a wash of color. So it's very great if you're going for a more natural look or laid back look and you don't want to go full on lipstick because a full on lipstick with a bare face, I'll be real with you, it look kind of weird. So this is more appropriate if you just want to go bare faced but still want to have some color on your lips. So gave this a second shot and pleased. So I probably will try the other shades that I have soon, just not right now. Did I even try that one? I'm thinking that I put pomegranate margarita on my hand. Oh, my bad. I put on pomegranate margarita. It was pomegranate margarita. It was this one right here. Sorry. <laughs> I give everything a second chance, at least. I don't shun things after one try. So... I like those. Pretty nice. Make things work. That's what you do. Another thing from the Too Faced Most Love thing that I finally got to try was the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. Ooh, hope my niece doesn't doesn't yell at me for saying that. My niece is like, oh my god. Like, I can't even say that. <laughs> She'd be like, oh my gosh. You can't say that. But like one time I said, oh my god, and she was like, no, go Anne. It's oh my gosh. I was like, oh my gosh. Sorry, it's the Better Than <laughs> Mascara. The reason why I didn't try this right away and trust and believe I wanted to try this right away, but I was waiting for another mascara to dry out, and that's the Lights Camera Lashes Mascara, the purple tube, and it's starting to dry out, and I just use it for my lower lashes now, so I've been using this for my upper lashes, and oh my god. Girl, if you got Asian lashes... You need to try this. If you got any kind of lashes, you need to try this. All right, try it. I have like the genetic stick straight Asian lashes. Stick straight Asian lashes. And these like really make a difference. I wouldn't say that it holds a curl so much. I haven't tried to do that, but so my lashes still stick out like this whenever I put on mascara, but that could be because I don't have a great eyelash curler. 
So I can't really attribute it to that because I'm probably not curling my lashes in the first place. So get this. You'll love it. You will not regret it. Get it, girl. Highly, 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 highly recommend. You know what? Come to think of it, <laughs> this is going to be so first world problems. But when I first took this out, I'm like, oh my god, the brush is so big. <laughs> and it's there's too much product coming off on the brush. It kind of calmed down a little bit after a couple of uses. But this is the brush right here. And it kind of curves like it goes like this. Kind of like a sine, cosine line. It's curved like like this. You see, I'll probably give a close up. And I don't know, it works really well. It's just, there was just too much product at first. It's more of a wet formula, but not too wet to where it just transfers onto your eyes easily. This is a Studio Basics brush, and I believe you can find that at Walgreens. This is an eyeliner brush and it has a square flat top and this is perfect for applying concealer and just hitting the top and then blending it outward. So nice. Game changer. I use this with LA Girl Pro Conceal in Pure Beige. I just take some off, put it onto my brush and then brush it on. Clean brows. Clean brows with a Z. Is that is that the right way? Zorro. Last beauty favorite I have are these lashes right here. These are NYX EL129s. And unfortunately, they do not sell these anymore. I got this in a bundle of joy that I got a while back. And I was digging around in my collection and I really love these. I did see them floating around on the internet so I will provide a link that I saw down below if you want to try to buy it. I'm not saying that it's gonna work but I saw them and here they are. So nice. They're a spiky lash with crisscrosses in between and I've gotten so many compliments on these lashes in my photos on Instagram. Really love it. If you're not following me on Instagram, my name is Makeup Animal. Just saying. So these are really great for like an edgier look or just like a standout lash. They just sit on your sit on your eyes and you just look up and then just like, and they blend so well. There's glitter all over them because I wore them for more intense looks. But I really love these lashes. They're synthetic, so. They will last me for quite a bit. So let's get into some other favorites, random favorites. If you notice this watch, um, this is a Michael Kors watch that I finally had adjusted to my wrist. It's super tight. I'm wondering if I should need to get another link. How do you guys like to wear your watches? This one fits perfectly on my wrist, if, if you can see. But it gets irritating, so I have to take it off. This is not a watch I can wear to sleep. I don't know why you would. I don't know. I just, I just, I went, and then my eyelash went, oh my gosh. The watch is gold and brown with tortoise shell in the links and around the face. It was on Neiman Marcus Last Call. And when I brought it in, they were like, mm, if we break your watch, you have to go under warranty. I was like, well, how long is the warranty? They're like, two years. I was like, well, it's been two years. They're like, yeah, it's a 2013 watch, so I don't think I'll be able to find a link for it, but I'll try or try to find something similar if you want, and I'll put it down below if you like. That's only if you like. Oh, ooh, I forgot. My planner is another favorite. This is from Target. I really like this planner. When I saw it, I had to get it. It was about $8 if I can remember, and this is what it looks like. This is what the inside looks like and has gilded pages and I really like it because it's set up similar to my last ones except that it doesn't have a spiral binding. I'm gonna miss the spiral binding because to be honest with you I've always been one to hate messing up spines and I'm gonna mess it up but I'm gonna try not to look at it because the ribbon is covering it when it's closed. So it does have a page for 
quick reference information, a yearly review, a monthly calendar, and it has a weekly calendar set up like this. I got this within the last week, so I only have um, February filled out and this week filled out. If you haven't watched my backpack video, this is how I set it up. I like to use post-its. I have a huge problem with writing things in my planner. I always like to write it in pencil or put it on post-its. So the pink post-its are social media related. The orange ones are for the gym and then the green ones are life to-dos or events and then yellow ones which are not on this page are school related things. Um, I did a pass the scope on Monday about red lips. I'll also link that off if you would like to see that as well. Self promo 2016, you know what I'm saying? I have so many pages for contacts, this many, and then I have this many, I have this many pages for notes. That's a lot. And I feel like I need more pages for notes because my last planner had one page for notes and that wasn't cutting it. So definitely like this. This is blue sky. It was hard to find one with perfect gilded edges. The bottom is kind of scratched, but we were too tired to try to find another one. It's probably faux leather. It is faux leather. I feel it, but it's nice. Nice and luxurious cream faux leather. I have also been loving half buns. My buns, they should have their own Facebook fan page. Just saying, it already has its own hashtag, hashtag and bun. Today, it didn't want to cooperate because I tried to do less hair up here to have more curly hair here coming out. Uh, but it just was not enough hair and I've been struggling with this bun all night. I've been having so many technical difficulties before I hit record and I'm just glad that I'm finally sitting down to do it right now. But it just, it, right now it just looked like a donut on my head and it's being disrespectful and like sticking out in all kinds of places. But it's here. It's not large, but it's in charge. I literally pull half of my hair most times. So when I have it down and I have the rest up, it's kind of like a really edgy mullet and I love it. Oh my gosh, you have no idea. I'm like posing for my Instagram pictures like, And I feel so edgy. Oh my god, I spat in my camera. I also got my painting hooked up. There you go. It looks crooked because the camera on the is tripod, the, the tripod's not sitting right. I kind of have to like boop it up a little bit. And it's settling now, so now the painting looks crooked. But that's just an illusion. It ain't crooked, so... My bad. Also, what do you guys think about me leaving this here? I think I want to leave it here and I brought one of my lipstick acrylics here with my Anastasia stuff and I might put some perfume here. Let me know what y'all think. But now I feel like with all this stuff around me, I feel like I feel complete now. Before I was, you know, a little off center. I'm loving the setup right now. Loving the lighting. Still a little bit confused when I sit down because, you know, it's so different from camera to monitor to my laptop to YouTube. So let me know if you like the setup. Let me know if you like the lighting and I will take it into consideration. So last update, I've been part of an, a makeup challenge and I heard someone else mention it on YouTube. So I wanted to try it out as well and I am currently on day 13. I'm not going to be doing it every single day. With the filming that I've been doing this week, it's really hard to do really creative looks and also wearable looks for YouTube. So it's been kind of clashing a little bit. And there's only so much that I can do. You know what I mean? It's not going to be 100 days straight, but it will be 100 days. And hopefully it'll be done by the end of the year. Um, I definitely have to start taking breaks because 
my chin is going through the dot stages and it's starting to break out and there's really nothing I can do about it because hormonal breakouts are going to happen no matter how clean your face is and how much you moisturize your face. Hormonal breakouts happen and they suck and they're hard to cover. So I believe that's my last update. If you're not following me on Instagram and you would like to follow my 100 days of makeup challenge, it's makeup animal with two ends. I'll leave it right here. I'll leave it down below. Click it. Follow me. It's a rebooted account. So I had to start from zero again. I would really appreciate it if you can follow me and I'll be churning out looks for you. Alright guys, that was it for my January favorites. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give it a big old thumbs up. And if you enjoyed my content, subscribe if you haven't already. If you want to follow me, my social media links are down below. I am on Instagram, Periscope, Twitter, Facebook, any social media platform that you are on. I am on it too. We can be friends. We can connect. We can love each other. Maybe not love each other. But yes. Alright guys, until next time, keep it cute. Bye! That re I recommend this for anyone that wants to get into contouring. Contouring? Trust and believe, girl. Um, it still kinds of... It, it lengthens it, but it still kinds of... Kinds of... Why do I keep saying kinds of? And why is this hair like... Oh my gosh. Hold, please. My hair just has the minds of... My hair just has a mind of its own today. Sometimes I, I sit down and I forget to drink water. <laughs> Excuse me. Girl, why you talk so much? Piece of hair, why you keep playing me? God. Alright guys, that was it for my... Why do I keep wanting to say 2015 favorites? Alright guys, until next time, keep it cute. Bye! Ugh. Alright guys, until next time, ugh. Oh.